consensus. Is that democracy? Oh. Hi fam, let's talk. I'm sharing with you my dinner. I have a veggie, a vegan chili, a raw salad of tomatoes, onion, peppers, kale, I believe it might be some carrots in here. And of course I have my aloe vera juice. Okay, so I'm gonna eat my food. Already said grace. Mmm. Tastes like chili, my daughter made it. Tastes like chili. Mmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. You see? Mm-hmm. Um, throughout the day, of course, you know you have to drink water. I went to the clinic in Burlington, Burlington, Southern Jersey, whatever. Um, they were hell bent on having me submit to whatever mentality they had. As you know, half of the time it's the mutilation and depreciation of the majority of women's health that go there. I have a problem listening to you and they try to diagnose you based on their, their point of view, not on anything else. Um, I had to learn that healthcare workers have limited knowledge. I was under the premise that you're in this profession, you take pride when you have a passion for your work, you do the best to try to help people. But what I realize, they're not there to help anybody. They're their perpetuation, a mindset that to me leads to failure of health. The first thing you want to do, they want you to do is recommend better transfusion. But if you research it, and you can research it yourself, it tells you. And um, in some cases, uh, maybe in the largest cases, people will get the blood transfusion. But uh, that's my conviction and belief in God was not taking me in that direction. I believe that the way God designed your body is if you provide it with the necessary support that it requires, it will do what it was created to do without fail. When it fails, it's because we fail to support or provide what was necessary. Oh, we lack the knowledge to do that. So, I was willing to step out on faith. I am not a medical practitioner. I am not telling you to do anything that I do. I am sharing, simply sharing information with you because it may be useful to you. It may be helpful in your decision making to act or not to act, to think or not to think, to research or not to research. The choice is yours. The ultimate decision is yours. Mm. This is good. Mm. Mm. Chili. It looks like chili. It tastes like chili. There's no meat in it, by the way. Let's see if I know. In salads. Water well, salads are very good for you. This is a bamboo fork I've been selling. I got it. 
but this one, Target, has a whole set, actually, not promoting Target, and earlier I wasn't promoting any kind of thing, I'm not sponsored, I'm not nothing to say, information, see, it's um, a spoon, there's a straw cleaner, a knife, and a straw, and I'm using a fork, and um, of course, you know, the flowers on the outside are hibiscus, they're beautiful. I like them. I got it because of that, really. But anyway, also because they're the this hair is um portable. If you have issues about eating and using utensils, excuse me, you simply bring your own. Oh, what's this girl? This salad here is delicious. Mm hmm. But I do drink coconut milk. Um, and you find the nut milk is healthy for you. Plant based food is good for you. Right and digest it. So basically eat as much as you want. As long as you're not a glutton. Um I don't eat white flour. Things made from white flour and sugar. Um salt. Things made from those white stuff denature things, things that have been uh, contaminated or mm, this, this is really good. So, so I had the tea in the morning, you see, you didn't see me drink my my um, aloe vera juice. Look at it. The pulp in it. You see the pulp? You see the pulps in it? That's pulp. Aloe vera parts. And um, yeah. So you come up with a plan. You follow it through. Change the things that you've been eating that's not beneficial to you. It does not promote good health for your system. Even if you decide to go to a healthcare physician, a doctor, make sure that you research what they're saying to you. Make sure that it is tailor-made for you. Make sure that you know what the outcomes are and the effect it can have on your person because what's the point of thinking oh i'm gonna get a hysterectomy and excuse me having a hysterectomy create more problems for you than it's solved what's the point of taking progesterone or progesterone well it is whatever it is the hormone And thinking that it's going to assist you, and it doesn't. It creates more problems for you. Mm. Sometimes you never know these things until you take them. But I rather err on the side of precaution and get into this stuff. As I said, by the grace of God, I thank God for the improvement in my blood level and iron level. But you have to work. And you have if you eat plants ba based food, you should have some return that's beneficial to the system that was created for you. 
unless it needs cleaning because it's been polluted or contaminated and it's functioning on a very extreme level so you have to be careful how you treat this system okay let's did um chili I always have I'm gonna tell you this I like to eat You know, and normally I go to sleep, I rest, mm. ah, so delicious, but I don't know if I could eat it all right now, mm -hmm. some of my um, aloe vera juice. Mm. I try to stop myself because I could drink this all and the next thing you know my belly full busting out but I don't digest my food properly but it's so good I'm gonna stop here Family, thank you for your time. If you want to go on this journey with me, even though you may not have the exact condition I may have, it's wonderful. Join me. I am welcome to have you. If you just want to see where this is going, how it's going to end up, fine also. Um, I thank you. Peace and blessings. Until next time.